this part is we are going to validate the forms and we are going to uh, get the request uh, which is coming from the HTML that means in simple words we are going to fetch these informations uh, from HTML to our controller so now as you can see you have your three fields you are sending your form to the user here you need to validate these values so how can you validate I'm saying this validate it takes uh, array as a parameter so here this is the associative array I'm saying first of all name email password so these are the fields I'm saying uh, name I'm saying required you can also use some other rules and comma separate we have three values I'm saying email sorry email and also the password so now I'm saying I I need to save this information in a variable I'm saying my well my values first of all okay now I'm saying I need to check if the values are working fine okay now I'm saying if you are if you are getting the error here you have to specify the error first of all error here now you need to say fine so go to the page refresh the page hit the enter button so now as you can see error because you forgot something if I write and if I fill all the fields like this click on this one it's saying fine so now I'm saying read this to our this uh, value or this method I'm saying this redirect to this method okay now it will redirect your from method to this method okay now go to the page refresh the page it's saying fine now I'm leaving this empty it's redirecting you here but you need to show the errors also here so go to the sign up form and here I'm saying sorry I'm saying config and here I'm saying services and here I'm saying validations and now I have to say that list errors sorry list errors okay fine you need to access the class name and then the method so here I'm saying echo so go to the page refresh the page as you can see it's saying name is required if you remove all fields click on this bad boy as you can see it's saying uh, these fields are required you can also define some other rules that you need the integer or this is the unique name uh, for this requirements go to the official website of the coding nighter is a documentations and go to the library because I'm not going to explain each and everything here so library preferences is, oh, okay library preferences so as you can see you have the last one is the validations so you can also check some other topics or some other values how can you set your values here so as you can see if you need the alpha space or blah 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 okay fine you have successfully validated uh, let's suppose if you are filling all the informations clicking this button so it's you are now here. so how can you get the inputs for now uh, you need the config you need a service service which service uh, request okay so now I'm saying my request my request so here okay now I'm saying my request and here I'm saying var it's a get var and now we have to specify the name of the field I'm saying echo 
So go to the page, refresh the page. It's saying find. Okay, I'm saying register. Okay, now if I fill the form, so here is your form. Click on this one. So now as you can see it's saying this one. So you need your three fields like name, email, and also you have the password field. So these are the three fields. So go to the page, refresh the page. So you are getting three fields. And now you can also use the get post method. Both are the same things. If you are getting, okay, now as you can see, it's fine. So now you have, you are validating the form. You are getting the request. So what you need, the next step to store these informations in your database. But before doing this, you need to create the table first. Okay, we will discuss about the data modeling in our later lectures. And also we are going to use some other concepts in our later lectures. So for now, uh, I'm Shahzad and if you think we are doing good, feel free to share our courses and also the videos and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. So thank you for watching.